open it up so you, you um, open it and the reason why is because they want you to take out the styrofoam yeah and and then what does it say so you have to take out the printer cartridge and then you take sorry I'm just doing this on camera and then you take out this thing then you take out then you take off the this and then what else do you take off and then you turn it like this and pull this thing out it's weird how they put so much stuff in it I have to do this with two hands so put this down I guess that's just to save the ink. So, get to pull out that. And then, it says that you can put, so that's step eight. Step nine is to put it back in. So, I believe this goes in just like that. And then, you can close it up. So, Okay, so welcome to another episode of Tech Education. In the last episode, we saw the unboxing of the HP LaserJet P1102W. And in this one, it's going to be a setup video. So this is the old, this is my old printer. As you can see, HP hasn't changed their setup in a very long time. Focus. There we go. Um, this, this printer is like 20 years old. And this one's new. So, step one, for those of you who don't know already, is to plug in the power. So you just take your cord like this. And if you had a printer set up in the same location before, you can just save the cables, because it's the same cables. You don't have to reroute them. And then this one goes into your printer one. And then, I guess just power it on. So these are LEDs. Cool. So I wonder. So now let's look at the getting started guide. Uh, should probably plug the cord into the computer. That would be a good place to start. I will be right back. So, I just plugged in the printer and this came out. So, thank you for purchasing an HP LaserJet product. HP Smart Install One will guide you through the installation of your new HP LaserJet printer. The printer driver and HP LaserJet guide will be installed. I accept, as always. So, Preparing to install Printer copying files to the PC. Extracting. So I will come back after it finishes. That was very quick. About it took about two seconds after I finished after I turned off the camera. So configure to print over the wireless network or configure to print using USB. I'm gonna hit the wireless network. And so it's checking for the printer on the wireless network. And scan the network for wireless credentials. Sure. Searching network for wireless endpoints. Setup could not automatically obtain the wireless credentials. Click OK and then select your network name. Home wireless. Next. 
Uh, now it wants the password. Let me enter this and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna hit next. Attempting wireless connection with the printer. I will be right back after it finishes. Okay, so it says please connect the USB cable from the printer and then click next. Uh, registry product. Um, before it prints the test page, I should probably put some paper in it. Just take it out of the old printer, put it in a new one. There we go. And next. That was very fast. I'm just saying. So it did print and finish. This machine and it was relatively simple. Um, and it was a little bit harder to do on the Mac. So I've already done it on the iMac and I figured I'd show it to you on my MacBook Pro. So I've already downloaded the, I, I put it in a disc and it comes up with a D, .dmg, which looks a little bit something like this, but this one's actually off the LaserJet, HP LaserJet uh, website, because the one off the DVD, for some reason it would install, but it wouldn't do anything else. So the first time you have to run the HP firmware upgrade utility, which I'm not gonna, uh, if it's quick, I'll show you. So you hit continue, you hit network, or you, you choose which one. Then it'll come up, you choose your device, and it downloads the firmware, installs it by itself. So that's that. Then you hit the driver, which is the main one. Hit continue. This is no surprise. Wait for it to make your disk available. Install. Password. And it installs. So you can see that after it finishes, it runs it anyways, but I already showed you this part and we'll see if there's anything else that it... So warning, please note that the firmware version in the application is the same as the firmware version in the device. So it won't show you that for you, but that's what it does for me. And it says congratulations, thank you, installation was successful. So thanks guys for watching, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.